Welcome to another free tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this video, I'm going to explain why two-digit hours sometimes appear not to work in Microsoft Access if you apply a custom date-time format. And I'm going to show you a couple of different solutions for how to fix it. I received an email from Christine who said that she wants to create a custom format to show military time, something like this, but she wants to see a two-digit hour always. For example, up here, she's only seeing 400 instead of 0400. Now, if you take a look at the properties for the table, the format for the time field, you can see that I've got the HHNN there, which should give me a two-digit hour, and it's not. You can see right here for 4 o'clock, I'm only getting a single digit for the hour. So how do we fix that? Well, there are two ways to fix it. One involves changing your Windows regional time settings. That's something that's controlled at the Windows level, not at the Access level. The second method involves using a format function, which is good. You can display the data however you want to. Unfortunately, you can't edit it at that point. I'll show you both methods. All right, the first method involves your control panel in Windows. So open up your control panel. I'm using Windows 8. It looks pretty much the same in Windows 7. Go to the Clock, Language, and Region section, then click on Region, then the Region dialog box appears. Right here you'll see Short Time and Long Time, or you can come down here and click on Additional Settings, and then go to the Time tab. There's Short Time, Long Time. Change this, notice the H there only has a single digit, change this to a double H here. The TT is whether you want to see AM and PM or not. If you want full military time, then go to that one. HHMM. You can change long and short time. Hit apply, and then OK, and OK again. Now at this point, you need to shut down your database. All right, I tried this the first time and it didn't work, and then I'm like, wait a minute, what's wrong? You have to restart access. So shut down your database. Close it down completely, close the access all the way, and then reopen it, and then open your table back up. And notice now the two-digit hour is displaying there properly. So that all has to do with the Windows settings. I personally don't like that. I wish Microsoft would change that, but that's how it is. If you want to see the two-digit hour, you have to set long and short time equal to two digits. Now, I'm going to put it back the way it was. I'm going to go back into Region. And I'm going to set these back to the defaults here, just because that's the way I like it displayed on my computer. And for teaching my Windows classes, I don't want to throw anybody off. I'm going to restart Access again, and I'm back to normal. Now, the second way that you can do this involves creating another field just to display the data. And when you're typing in here, notice you still have to type this into a normal Access field as far as the way that data is entered. Okay? Yeah, you can change it with an input mask, but I, th I find that that usually confuses people. Most of the time, when you want to display something in a particular way, it's because you want to see it that way on your forms or on your reports. Well, you can have this in your table just as a normal date-time field, and then have it in a query or a form displayed a different way using the format function. Let me show you that. First, let's set this guy so the format is blank. Just leave it as a normal, let's actually, let's go to general. We'll go to just a general date. General date looks like that. That's your normal general date. All right, let's create a query. Create, query design. I'll bring in my table one. And here's my time, just so you can see what it looks like. There's my time. Now we can format that the way that we want to format it. So I can say new time, this is my new time field, format, the format function, that's new time colon format, open parenthesis, my time, comma, and then whatever custom format you want. So M M D D Y Y Y Y space H H N N. Just like that. And if you run that now, there's your custom format, right? See that? And your two-digit hour works. The downside is this is not editable. 
You can't click in here and change that. You have to click over here and change it. So you can display it one way, but have it over here for data entry. Now you can put this on your forms or your reports or however you want to display it using the format function. Now if you'd like to learn more about the topics I talked about in today's class, I cover the format property of tables in my Access Beginner Level 3 course. I cover the format function in my Access Expert Level 11 course. I talk more about those regional settings and how they pertain to Access in my Access Beginner Level 5 course. And of course you can find all of these lessons on my website at accesslearningzone.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Be sure to thumbs up this video and comment below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new access tutorials as often as I can. Be sure to visit my channel page. And of course, be sure to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com. You can watch my entire Access Level 1 course for free. It's over three hours long. And you can get Level 2, another hour and a half, for only $1.